Hello my loves, Eid Mubarak and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to recreate this gorgeous Eid makeup tutorial in simple, easy to follow steps. I chose the color green but you can pretty much do the same with any color that matches your clothes or your mood. So let's get started. But before that, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely click that subscribe button. Alright, to prep our face for a long day in summer filled with hugs and kisses, I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Apply this all over your face, concentrating on your cheeks and fine lines if you have any. For foundation, today I'm using the Color Bar 24 Hour Weightless Liquid Foundation. Two pumps of this gives you plenty of coverage. This foundation definitely oxidizes a touch and leaves your skin oily after about 5 hours, just saying. But I like the shades that they offer. For concealer, I'm using the Forever 52 Concealer, which is my exact skin tone to hide my hyperpigmentation around my mouth. And then I'm using the Huda Beauty's concealer to brighten and conceal my under eye circle and all of those sleepless nights and frustrations I've been having. This concealer is a bit thick and cakey and it definitely creases. I like to use my concealer buffer to target and buff in the concealer under my eyes and actually all over my face. Also spreading this onto my upper eyelid to even out the discoloration and prep my eyes for eyeshadow application later on. Alright, let's move on to setting the cream products. I like to use two different shades of face powder to match my concealers while setting my face. For my under eyes, I'm using the Sugar Cosmetics Powder and for the rest of my face, I'm using the Too Faced Powder Foundation. All the shade ranges and the shade names will be linked down in the description bar below. And a good alternative you can find in India for the Too Faced Powder is the K-Beauty Compact Powder. Really decent shade range here as well. On heavy glam days, I like to add a little dimension to my face and call it contouring, call it adding a little tan, whatever it is. I'm using the nude sticks all over face sticks and I apply this right under my cheekbone and also on my jaw and buff it out. I work one side at a time because this really sets in place. Next, let's flush up our cheeks. I'm choosing a glowy peachy shade from Deborah Milano to complement all the greens we have going on today. Apply this right above the apples of your cheeks and blend it out. I always like to finish off my blush routine with a little touch on my nose. Something about cream highlighters have my heart currently, guys. It gives you a dewy flush without making it look shimmery or too over the top. I'm using the Nykaa Strobin Glow Highlighter today, but you can use whatever you have. And instead of dabbing it straight on your cheeks and getting it all patchy, pick it up from the back of your hands, work it into your brush and apply it and blend it out onto the highest points of your face. Fill in your eyebrows. I'm using an old eyebrow pencil today that I'm trying to finish off. Use whatever it is that you love. For lipstick, I'm choosing Verified Lipstick in the shade Latella for that ultimate long wearing comfort and also this beautiful peachy, corally, nude, <laughs> I love it. And then for that glossy glam, top it off with a lip gloss, I'm using the Fenty lip gloss today but a good alternative you can find in India is the e.l.f. lip gloss. Ooh, now it is time for the eyes. I'm using the Colourpop eyeshadow palette in the shade It's a Mood. Another alternative easily available in India for the shades I'm using today is the Milani Gilded Terra eyeshadow palette. Don't you worry my love, i link it down in the description bar below. Then using a gorgeous matte moss green eyeshadow, I'm filling in the colouring spot. Apply the eyeshadow in the inner portion of your eye and then the outer portion and then connect the bridge. Leave the center bare for the glittery mint green that is about to light up this party. So pretty. Take a terracotta shade and smooth out the edges. This will give this look that finesse and bring it all together. Add a lighter mint in your inner corners and watch how it brightens up your face instantly. Wow! <laughs> and that's it! Eyes are done! Now using that same under eye powder we used earlier, brush off any fallout and freshen up your under eye area. Now time for eyeliner! Using the double sided eyeliner from Tipsy Beauty, I'm going to go for a fierce winged eyeliner and also apply a light layer of coal in my waterline. I think this just complements an E look so beautifully, you know, that thick coal rimmed eyes. Gorgeous. 
After this, I'm going to take the same green eyeshadow we applied on the upper eyelids and take it to the lower eyelids. If you want, get creative, apply the shimmer as well. If you want to keep it matte, just the matte. It's all up to you, boo. Finish it off with loads and loads of mascara. Stick on a pair of falsies if you like and ta-da! The look is complete. And for some reason, I feel like calling this Kuliki Sharbat. <laughs> If you decide to recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram and I would love to repost your beautiful face. So once again, my love, Eid Mubarak to you and your family. May God bless you and shine all happiness on you and everyone you know. I'll catch you in my next one. I love you so much. Bye.